Is there a way to solve any reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes? There are a lot of strategies. Trust me on this and especially with the new strategy, I have made this video which will definitely help you solve any reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes. All you got to do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nathan from Skills PT Academic. I'm back with at another video, intriguing, arousing curiosity video. The video title is how to solve any reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes with the new strategies. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number given there. I'll be there, we will be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's quickly start with what I've got for you today. Let me just share my screen, how to solve reading fill in the blanks with new strategies in less than two minutes. So before we begin, let's understand the methods to solve. The brute force method we call means any lay person who is not aware of a lot of tips and tricks and techniques with respect to PT, you would end up solving with context based by reading the entire paragraph. Well, if you are a reader, and you, you can read, let's say, very quickly. This will work. This may not be time consuming for all, but those who do not have the habit of reading, this if you start reading every line by line, sometimes this much big paragraph will be there. It will take more than 6-7 minutes per question, but you cannot actually take more than 2.5 minutes per question. So this is rejected now. Just relying on the context and just reading line by line, line by line. Skimming based in IELTS, we call this skimming where you just skim the paragraph. You read everything, but you don't pay attention to off, in, on. You only pay attention to the context there. By skimming, skipping, that will be faster, but it will not be faster than the third method. This also seems like rejection. The third method is the fusion, means you fuse, you mix lot of other things. It's a mix of context. Very sorry. It's a mix of context, mix of skimming, grammar, collocation and many more approaches. So with the fusion method, you can actually solve any reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes. Know this, the Pearson's exams questions, right? They, some of the questions will be based on collocation. Some of the questions will be based on grammar. These two you can solve like this. Some of them you cannot solve just using grammar or collocations. For that, you need to know the context. Only for those blanks you will read, not for all the blanks. Meaning, this way you can save the time. The collocations, grammar, you solve it like within 20 seconds. The rest, uh, 1 minute, 40 seconds, you give only to the context and understand without falling for the traps and do it. How do we do this? Do you have any in-depth strategies for the same? Definitely, this, this video is all about that. Let's patiently finish this. Let's take this question. I would want you guys to pause the video. Do it. Maybe use a timer. Once you are completely convinced with the answer, turn off the timer. And you guys will know how much time you have taken. Correct? I'm going to help you understand how to solve it like this. In less than two minutes means less than one minute also. It can be. Pause the video, do it in your own way and then resume the video to understand the fusion method that the new strategy, the new method that I'm un unveiling in this video. Alright, I really hope you have solved it. Guys, please pause the video and do it. Try doing it. Then only you see the difference. Correct? Alright. Okay, as a standing as a dash, stands as a dash to is a collocation, stands as a testament to. So this would be first. The artistic discipline is a noun. The noun after a noun, verb has to come, is subject verb agreement. Something with verb s has to come. After the noun should come. Expression is a noun here, adjective has to come. I'll explain each and everything in just a while. ITS, after ITS, noun should come. So the idea being few of the things you can solve it like this when you know this approach. So let's solve it with an approach. I've just told you uh, in short as to what it is. So now I'm going to explain you the grammar approach and then fuse it with grammar and collocation plus the context base to solve it in less than two minutes. Hold on for a while. Subject verb agreement. After noun, verb comes. In the present tense, if the noun is singular, the verb will have as. He eats. They eat not the eats. So if you find a noun and if there is a blank, it should be a verb. And if you decide the entire thing is in the present tense, then the verb will get s added. 
if the noun is a singular he eats not he eat they eat not they eat remember the second is after its noun appears its its let's say in hindi i am also not sure about hindi let's say in hindi you want to talk about its it's like uska uski his her his car her house its tail its food so after its if there is a blank noun only will come man no matter what correct so now its means apostrophe cat apostrophe is equal to its both are same not it apostrophe s it apostrophe s means it is cat apostrophe s is equal to its its food cats food so now after apostrophe or after its noun only will come remember this and before a noun adjective comes dash food great food dash boy not t boy good boy so before this is a noun before a noun if there is a blank it's an adjective after a noun if there is a blank it's a verb so we have some understanding now the same question let's take and finish it off stands as a testament is a collocation this discipline this car this is a noun singular noun he eats remember this so here something with s has to come constraints is not a noun apples also has s apple apples that's a noun this is not a verb intricacies also has s but this is not a verb it is a noun constant the constant the constants this is also not a verb encompasses is the verb here and ending with s so this has to be two hope you are getting it allowing the after the noun should come now allowing the tangible strength tangible is an adjective pay more attention allowing the expressions expression is a noun the expressions adjective has to come the boy the good boy adjective has to come stone the stone this is a noun tree the tree constraints is a noun constant is a noun intricacies is a noun what is the adjective tangible is the only adjective there so this would be three the idea is first one we solved using collocation second and third we applied grammar and finished it off well for a lay person this would be little tricky in the beginning it's only until you learn them check my other videos i have made a grammar full course video just type skills pt grammar full course it's a two hour grammar full course make use of it man these concepts become very very easy so now one two fourth one sorry i missed the third one we'll come back fourth one is done so the idea is this is one this is two this is fourth this four if we know the grammar we could have solved it in less than 20 seconds so here transcends the dash of two dimensional art noun has to come its noun has to come for the third one and the fifth one both of them noun you have constraints noun intricacies noun stone noun constants noun tree noun now you read you read you understand and then do it this is the mix of collocation grammar and the context called the fusion method sculpture sculpture is any idol transcends the dash of the art two dimensional has a limitation it's a 2d 2d is it has some limitations correct you cannot see it properly because it's a two dimensional thing 3d sculpture is a 3d so it transcends the limitations of two dimensional art limitation now i'm getting the context limitation is constraint so this could be 3 the last one each sculpture tells a unique story an idol let's say an art artist has made an art an idol tells a unique story and invites viewers to explore its dash from every angle explore its complications explore its art from every angle explore its stone you don't explore the stone explore the tree explore the constant explore the intricacies means the complexity is to what extent the person has done so this going to be five well to solve the third and the fifth one it will take probably one minute uh, 30 seconds and the other three you can solve it in 20 20 seconds so within two minute definitely you can solve this and this is exactly the method i'm not reading everything i'm reading the things only when it is required i'm reading the paragraph for this and i'm reading for this this i solved quickly this i solved quickly and this i solved just like this hope you are getting it so this is the approach that we are talking today so with this we will go to the second question pay more attention this question 
also has the similar approach all i would request is pause the video do it and then resume the video to understand how to solve it all right i really hope you have finished doing it so let's understand how to solve it after its noun has to come the noun is already given boss so here adjective has to come after r we have a grammar technique we will talk about it verb 3 has to come after of noun will come this is a new grammar tactic that's why i have named the video as the new strategies due to heat and dash collocation hold valuable hold valuable clues collocation so this is going to be fifth heat and pressure going to be fourth these two we solved like this collocations now grammar thing we will understand how to solve and then we will see how quickly we can solve this after is was are were remember if there is a dash it going to be 99% of the times verb 3 it is killed it is eaten they are killed not kill not kills not killing killing can also come hope you understand but here it is always verb 3 most of the times after is are were was verb 3 only will come all right so after is are were was i hope it is clear verb 3 only will come and after of noun appears not all the time but most of the times yes after of and if that of has a blank without ye then it's a plural noun if of has a blank with ye it's a singular noun pay more attention if ye is present singular noun else plural noun let's just have a look at the usage of properties if ye is there then property the usage of dash this should be a plural noun that's exactly i'm talking about uh, there are some uncountable nouns where there is no yes for them but let's make it um simple after of noun will come if there is no ye then usually plural will come if there is a ye singular will come the new strategy write it down definitely comes handy and before a noun adjective appears good food good boy and all those things let's try to solve the same here after it is noun will come but before a noun adjective comes correct so now adjectives adjectives unique boy unique composition adjective mining composition i am not clear about it let's hold on second after r verb 3 has to come only one verb 3 finish it off compression of noun has to come you have sediments of a sediment if a is not there plural noun so this gonna be 3 Hope you are getting it. So now heat and heat and pressure, man. Correct heat and pressure. And the last one hold valuable close. So we did it so quickly, but the first one has a problem. We will now understand how to solve the first one by reading. Rocks are essential. It's talking about rocks. Just skim the paragraph. They come in vast array of types, each with its different composition, different transform formation, and different characteristic. So mining is not the correct one. It's the unique. hope you are getting it mix the approach don't just go with the context don't just go with skimming you have to mix it with the grammar collocation and the context S second one we went with grammar third one we went with grammar heat and pressure collocation hold valuable clues collocation first one we are confused between mining and unique we went through it it became very easy this is the real approach that i'm talking about i've got couple of questions which i would like you guys to give a best and solve them so this question i'm going to add a timer here 2 minute don't don't take that pressure just enjoy doing it there are all known things if you want i can just list it down tropical plant is a noun adjective has to come glossy leaves leaves is a noun here after a noun verb has to come and dash with is a collocation dash to is a collocation gain dash is a collocation addition is a noun adjective has to come so two adjectives one verb two collocations i'll add two minute timer here try doing it and see how easy it is to actually do it in less than two minutes okay i'm adding a timer now here you go
All right, I really hope you have successfully solved it and very confident that you have solved it. Let's start. Let's start with the collocation one. Just dash to rainforest, native to rainforest, native to this location. Being a native of this place, native to India, native to this is a collocation. Gaining popularity is a collocation. Third one, glossy leaves often dash with, often decorated with, often adorned with collocation, decorated with this. I have decorated this place with this, I have adorned this place with this means the same. So, because I know the collocation, so it is getting more easier. Well, in our course, collocation itself is a 15 hour chapter. So, if you do not want to spend a lot of time going here and there searching and you want just full proof solution, you can just join our course, it is a paid assistance. We will give you everything, prepare you, things are possible. Well, if you want to prepare on your own also, you can do, do not forget that. So, this is going to be second one. So, all we got to do is first and the last and both of them are adjectives. Let us understand the adjectives. Striking feature. Feature is a noun. Striking is an adjective. Desirable feature. Desirable person. Good person. Adjective. Forest is a noun. The longevity. These two are ruled out. So, it is either striking or desirable. Do not interchange them. Let us understand. The anthurium commonly known as the flamingo flower is a dash tropical plant celebrated for its heart shaped glossy leaves. It is a desirable tropical plant, it is a striking tropical plant. Let us check the last one as well. Beyond their distinctive charm, these plants also contribute to indoor air purification making them a striking addition, desirable addition. The plant will purify all the things that means people desire for it. Making it a desirable addition is a precise one as per the context. For the fifth one, first one, it is talking about how it looks. It is a striking plant. The moment you look, it strikes you. Wow, that is a striking feature or a striking tropical plant celebrated for. Hope you are getting the approaches, hope you are getting it. See, in our course, grammar itself is around 20 25 hour courses there. So, things are more in detail explained in our course anytime you can join us. But as yes, for now, this is the answer. One is striking tropical plant, second is often adorned with, adorned with is a collocation, native to is a collocation, gaining popularity is a collocation, desirable addition is the fifth one. Any comments do leave in the comment section. With this, we will go to the last question. I will add a timer, but before that, I will give some clues. The clue is love and care, two things are there. Two Profound and intricately emotions is a noun. Here, adjective has to come. This is adverb. Adverb can come to an adjective. Emotion is a noun. Before a noun, if there is a blank, it is an adjective. Love. As force as ancient as humanity itself, blah, blah, blah. Forget it. This is a comma separated. Two comma separated means ignore. This is the noun. After a noun, verb has to come. Remember this, through the sea, seas is a noun, here adjective has to come. In times of dash, this is a collocation. In times of dash, this is a collocation. The pursuit, pursuit is a noun, this is an adjective, plus it is a collocation. Alright, I really want you guys to consider this. It Try it man, it is ok. I am giving you everything. I, I do not want to write what are collocations and all here. Try doing it and see how it unfolds, you know, your ability of doing it in less than 2 minutes. I am adding a timer here, 2 minute timer. Let us start.
All right, I really hope you have solved it. I know a lot of people are very uh, confident about their answers and eagerly waiting to know the answers, but I'm surprising, you know, I'm not sharing the answers in this video. I'll be committing the answers after two days. And whoever comments in the comment section about the answers, we will definitely reply. We will not tell you how much you have scored. If we tell you good, that means it's the correct answer. If we tell you no, that means you have made some mistakes. How many mistakes we will not tell you and after two days, we will post the correct answer in the comment sections. It's a very easy question. Okay. So, I would request all of you who are watching this video, want you guys, I am requesting you, you guys rather to comment your answers in the comment sections carefully. So, let's see how many of you can get 5 to 5. All right. So, I really hope you guys appreciate our efforts too. So, leave your valuable comments and suggestions in the comment section and leave your appreciation with the thumbs up if you like this new strategy video. If you want more videos like this, do leave a comment as to what videos you want me to make next. We will not disappoint you. All right, guys, with this, I'll park it here. Thanks so much. This is Knuckle signing off from Skills PT Academy. Keep watching Skills PT. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thanks so much.